Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it, and today I'm going to show you guys one of the newer system of growing apples here that we're trying out here on our orchard. As you guys can tell, you guys have seen some posts, some wires, I'll explain that in a bit. But let's talk about the traditional orchard type. In the traditional orchard type, you're planting 20 feet between each tree and 20 feet between each row, like those trees are back there, as you guys can tell. Those are really wide spacing. And that's how they used to be, that's how the apples used to be grown back in the old days, back before they have all these uh, new rootstocks that were invented. And there are a lot of farmers who are actually planting these dwarf rootstocks, but they're not doing the system that we are doing. This system was actually created back in Europe, but it, the Americans in the, in, uh, on the west east coast there in uh, New York, they finally adopted the system back in 2002. It's called the Tall Spindle Apple System. And just to tell, it's... Uh, we're using a dwarf fruit stock, so it's a dwarf fruit stock, dwarf tree, which is only about 25% of a regular standard apple tree, which is, it's good because you can actually put them really close together. And this particular root stock is called Geneva 41. It was made and breeded at the Geneva Farm Research Center out in, uh, in New York, out from Cornell University's research station out there. So this is Geneva 41, which is resistant to fire blight, replant disease, all the apple aphids, rooting suckers. So having all those resistances to the diseases that we find in this area is helping us a whole lot. And this new system that we're trying out here is called the tall spindle because you're planting the trees three feet between each row and the next row is going to be at 12 feet. So instead of putting 100 trees to the acre, you're really condensing down and putting about 1,200 trees to the acre. So you're putting 12 times as many trees to the acre compared to the traditional orchard type. And on this system is very critical, as you guys saw here, what I've been doing is to tie down the leaders. That which your goals in the first year is to try to reach the top wire, which I don't have it because I we've been really busy this past year. And these posts are 10 foot tall, and your goal is to reach that top wire by the first of the year. And or by the first by the end of the second year, sorry. And you guys can tell we got some trees here about seven foot tall already. So we're on a good mission here. And if you do everything correctly in, the, in, in your second leaf, which means your second year, you should have about 200 bushels to the acre. And you guys can tell over here, those are fruiting buds for next year. So next year we should have some production off these trees. So the reason we do tie down the feathers of the tree is because you want to make the tree believe that it's old enough to produce a crop load. So by tying down the trees, you're telling the trees that, hey, I'm already old enough. I can start producing the crop load. And you're really pushing this central leader here, the, the spindle going up to reach that top wire. So this is our first row that we planted here on the farm. We planted in the spring of 2018. And, you know, I've, I've learned about the system quite some time ago, but trying to convince my dad, you know, my dad, he's, he's a boss. So trying to convince him, tell him that this is a new way to go of planting trees. And so far, so good. We are doing, our trees are actually doing pretty good. The closest farm from here, we're in southwest Missouri, is somewhere north. You know, they're, they're up north Missouri at about, you know, they're about three hours away. So we are the first orchard here in southwest Missouri to actually have this system. And for us, it's kind of, you know, out in the ballpark. We are further south compared to those other guys and you know it's just trial and error you try something out and if it works it does it but this thing's really promising we have a, a longer growing season compared to the guys up north like in michigan and washington so we should see a lot more growth on our trees i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but i guess we'll have to live and see but i just wanted to show you to, with you guys you know our new system we're going out and this summer, I'm going to keep you guys tuned of everything we do, you know, regarding this system. And I forgot to mention the variety that are planted on top because the rootstock is Geneo 41. And the Scion, which is the apple that we're going to harvest off these, these are a Fuji apple. You guys, a lot of you guys heard of the Fuji apple, it came out of Japan. But this Fuji, I've talked to the farmer up north and he said Fuji seemed, you know, it, it tends to want to push out a lot of feathers. And the feather growth is crazy on these, so you had to say you have to manage them. Some farmers say to leave sec, uh, uh, you know, a crop load in the second year. Some farmers say they don't, but we're gonna try it out. We know it's just trial and error, figuring the stuff out and making it work for us here on the farm. So, like I said, these are 100 trees we planted spring of 2018. 
so far we've seen some tremendous growth so so far so good alrighty guys that was pretty much it for today just wanted you guys to let you know show you guys explain to you guys how the system works it seems promising and this spring we actually are planting another 800 of these trees out in the block out there that we push down if you guys want to see a video how we push down other trees go ahead and check out our farm channel at Gardner's Orchard and Bakery I'm gonna link a uh, in the description box below, I'm gonna leave a link down there. You guys can go check out that video. So we're gonna go ahead and continue planting this orchard. It seems promising. The biggest downfall to this system is that your cost of investment up front is a lot because instead of paying for 100 trees, you're paying for 1,200 trees. So instead of paying, you know, 1,200 for those 100 trees, you're paying close to $10,000 for eight 1,200 trees. So that's the only downfall of this system. It take you know costs a whole lot up front but if you're producing apples in the second and third year that's a big time difference compared to the traditional order type so if any of you guys have any comments questions let them down below i'm gonna try to answer them as best as i can but that's all for today you guys are awesome don't forget to hit the like like button hit the like button subscribe to my channel we've seen some tremendous growth on the channel so i want to thank each and every one of you guys but that's all for today We'll see you next time. You guys have a good day.